this is Sherry, djsundry.blogspot.com, and today I have my Wanderlust Licorice number two from Foxy Fix. Now, number two is the size, and if you're not familiar with that, you really should head over to Foxy Fix and check out the sizes because they offer, I believe it's 10 or 11 different sizes of um, tra traveler's notebooks, and this is the one that I decided to use for my everyday carry. Um, and as a wallet. Now I will tell you that when I purchased it I thought I was purchasing what was more of a passport size and this is actually a little bit bigger than a passport size um, and I can actually fit filled notes size um, inserts into it. So let's just pop right in and get started. The first thing that I want to show you is I have this pocket here. This is one of the label pockets from um, the Target Dollar Spot and if you're on Facebook um, you see these probably quite a bit. They're about $4 for 20 pockets. Um, and it sticks okay. Um, I don't have to, I'm not worried at all about it hurting the leather just simply because I think it's going to come up rather easily. And in fact, I probably would not um, put anything in this pocket that I was afraid that I might lose because I really think that this pocket has the potential for falling off. It may not. Um, right now I just have a card in there from an Etsy shop and I'll show you a little bit more about that shop in a minute. The next thing I have is an actual leather wallet insert and this is one that I bought as a um, off of a buy, sell, and trade group on, um, e on Facebook. And the lady that sent it to me was so sweet. I just have to t pause a second um, and show you that when she sent that, she surprised me by sending all of these little inserts. Um, there were two packages of them. I opened this package, this package I haven't even opened, and they are from Office Depot, um, and they are a three-pack, and they fit in here just beautifully. I don't currently have one in here, but they're lined. So if you are looking for... Um, these little books and you have an office depot in your area you might want to check them out um, and I would assume that other office supply stores have something similar but this insert has a place two card slots and I really think that if I needed to I could probably flip my card and get a card this way and a card this way um, I don't have it that way right now. I may try that later if I find that I need it. And then on this side, there's not a pocket, but there is a, well, there's a zipper pocket right here. And that's where a place you can store some cash and some change and stuff. So if you're using it like I am as a wallet, this is a great thing to buy. I have no idea what brand it is because again, I purchased it used. And then on my second band, um, my second elastic strand, I have my little um, file folder that I made. Um, and I made it using an actual file folder. Um, and I will do a video at some point showing you how I did that, just simply because it does take a little bit of time, but it's not difficult. And I really recommend it because now I have this pocket that I could put stuff in here. I just covered it with pretty paper. This happens to be Hello Lovely paper from the Hello Lovely collection at Close to My Heart. I can put a link down below where you can purchase that paper if you would like um, from my independent online store. And then my little calendar here that you saw if you watched my previous video. Um, I had purchased the template for this from um, the from an Etsy store, and so this is just a great um, little calendar that I was able to print off. I covered, I, I made the cover out of cardstock. I actually stapled it, which I don't love staples, but I didn't sew this one. And then this clip is also from close to my heart from the. Um, planner that they had for this year. It came as part of the planner kit. So this is the other side of the fo um, the folder and then I have the, just this little, um, I don't know what you call it, but it's, it's a plastic sheet that you can put between your pages when you're writing. Um, and then you have your grid and your, your lines, but you also have something so that you're not scratching through to other pages. So I've got that on my second one. Then we move to my third one, and this is a dashboard that I made myself. And so on this one um, is a picture of my husband and I. Now I did make a mistake on the dashboard because what I did is I just cut a piece of pattern paper and I really wanted this border that was the actually the zip strip from the Hello Lovely kit on that particular piece of paper. And I didn't think about the fact that the back side of the zip strip just has um, this little... Um, it tells you what it is and that it's by close to my heart, but I thought, you know what, it's fine, I'm not redoing it, 
I'm going to go with it. I can always cover it up with a piece of washi or some glitter tape or something like that. And I left the inside blank. Um, and then on the back side of that, I have a picture of my kids um, on the other side of it. Now this insert is from that Etsy store that you saw in the pocket. This is from um, a store called Morning Melange. And this is a really cute Jane Austen um, insert. It's lined paper. And what you have in it is um, you have quotes um, from different Jane Austen um, books. And then on this side you have very light, almost cameos of um, different pictures um, from that era that you would think of from that era. So that's that insert. I haven't decided exactly what I'm using that for, but I wanted that in it. At the same time, I also purchased from that store these four um, inserts. Again, these are filled note size, and I purchased those so that I could have them in there. And one of the things that I really liked about this particular Etsy buyer or seller is that they are um, hand um, there, there are no staples, which I always worry a little bit about staples with my elastics just because, I, I don't know, in my brain I think that, that I have a potential of fraying with friction. So I, um, I'm, I prefer the, the hand sewn or the sewn insert. So that works well for me. And then the next thing I have is just, whoops, this credit card insert, which I had before. Um, and this is just a plastic on one side it has this pocket and I've just got something clipped to it because I've got cards and stuff in there and then the other side actually has I put I stuck a pen um, loop on it um, that I had just picked up at the container store and then this side doesn't have anything in this pocket but on this side I have a couple of my um, gift cards turned washi holders that I do. And then my final insert is my listing book. This is really kind of my go-to when I need to scribble a note to myself um, so I don't forget something until I put it um, away later. Then that's the notebook that I use that for. And so when it's I was already um, a little bit over halfway through that book and I'm finding myself using it more and more so that's why I went ahead and purchased these extra books. So there is a walkthrough of my wallet. The pen that I use, this is the Uniball Signo pen and this is the 207 size. I really, I use my fountain pens the most but I needed to have a pen handy in case I just wanted to have it, if I just grabbed this out I would still always have a pen and I wasn't really comfortable with the way my fountain pens fit in the pen loop. So that's why I went ahead and grabbed that pen and those really are some of my favorite gel type pens are these Signo Uniballs um, because I love the colors that's uh, such a deep black. Um, but well actually what it is is a deep color so this particular one as you can tell from the barrel is purple but it's such a deep purple that if you look at it one way it really looks black and so this came in a pack that had black, uh, purple, green, and blue and then I also have one that's almost like an oxblood color which is gorgeous as well. So that is the walkthrough of my number two planner. I have some exciting things coming. I have a number seven sugar icing coming that I am going to be using for my war journal and um, if you're not familiar with what that is, stick around when it gets here. I have already started making, I'll just give you a sneak peek. There's my sneak peek of my dashboard um, size-wise. They fit this size insert, which we'll talk about. And I have already started, um, I've covered the inserts. I have um, started using the inserts, but until the um, actual Foxy gets here, I won't be ready to share um, all about that. So keep checking back. I hope in a couple weeks we will have that here and set up and ready to go. So thanks so much for stopping by today and remember, take some time to enjoy the little things. Have a great day. Bye.